Okay, OnePlus sent over their new Nord N30 smartphone here, and I'm about to unbox it for you, so let's get into it. Let me take my Jerry Rig Everything knife here and cut the tape. One, two, and let's get this lid off like so. And we got this nice card right there and a quick start guide, but we don't need none of that stuff here. So let's go ahead and pop that phone out, put it to the side real quick and see what we get underneath the phone. We're gonna get there, I'm assuming USB-C to a USB type A charging cable right there. And then also we do have a charging brick here that does take USB type A. And this is a 50 watt Super VOOC fast charging brick here. So it can get your phone, they're saying from 1% to 80% in just 30 minutes so that's pretty fast but you're not getting any wireless charging at this price with this phone though now let's get to this phone let me get nice and close for this one. Oh yeah i completely did that wrong and then we get this last little sticker off and let me see if i can clean this glossy back up here so i'm kind of over glossy back phones personally i like matte finished phones let me know what you think in the comments below but yeah, as a reviewer, I have to constantly clean them off like this, but it's almost clean. Eh, look at that. I just messed it up again. <laughs> Fail. And that's going to be close enough for now. So anyway, this phone does come in one single color. This is their chromatic gray color. And I love the look of the, uh, the back of the phone here, especially with the two big camera modules right here. So the one at the bottom does have two individual cameras in there. I think one of those is going to be a depth sensor that should help with the portrait mode photos. And we'll see how the photos come out here in just a second. And then this is the main 108 megapixel sensor for the camera. So we'll test that out here soon as well. And first impressions of how the phone feels. I love the flat size of this phone. So I know curved size look better, right? They look sleeker, but flat just feels better in my hand. So on the right here, it looks like we do have the power button. And I think that is a fingerprint scanner as well. And then on the other side, we do have the volume buttons here. And let me get my SIM ejector tool here to see what we have inside of this here. So this is just not a normal SIM card tray. This actually has, if I can get it out, a micro SD card slot. So you can actually use that now. So that is nice because this phone does come with 128 gigabytes of storage, which is a decent amount, right? It's better than the 64 gigabyte days, but being able to expand your storage with a micro SD card up to one terabyte is always gonna be welcome. But if you don't need to use a micro SD card, you can always throw in a secondary SIM card in that same place. All right, so let me pop that back in just like so. And now let's take a look at the bottom and also see something that you don't see every day. And this is a headphone port here. So I'm personally not gonna use this. I'm all wireless baby these days, but you can always use that if you want to. And so I'm not going to bore you with the whole setup process, but let me talk about the rest of the specs here. So this phone does have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695, 5G chipset. So yes, you have 5G, you got NFC, you got Bluetooth 5.1, and this also comes with dual stereo speakers. And OnePlus says they've added a ultra volume mode, which pumps up the volume level up to 200%. And you're also getting eight gigabytes of RAM to go along with either the 128 gigabyte storage or the 256 gigabyte storage option. But it looks like at least in the US, you're just going to be getting the eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabyte storage option. And as far as like pricing, um, this OnePlus Nord in 30 will be going for $264 with T-Mobile here in the US, but then you can also get it from OnePlus.com, Amazon, and Best Buy for $299. All right, let's talk software performance. So this phone is running Oxygen OS 13.1, and that's running on top of Android 13. So you're getting the latest and greatest coming from Android, at least right now. And overall, it's been pretty smooth using this phone. So OnePlus says that it should be like 30% less app lag. So, I mean, I guess when you're using an app, it's not going to be lagging as much but i just think overall just from opening up apps and all the animations and things have been very fluid on this operating system so that's really a testament to android 13 but also the work that uh, oneplus has been doing with oxygen os over the last few years um, so i'm really happy with it especially for a phone that's around the 300 price tag i don't feel like i'm being limited with the performance of the software and stuff and you do have some gaming features like when you are gaming you can swipe down this menu to be able to initiate different things and i loaded up a couple of games on this phone and i was playing like call of duty and some other things with my backbone controller which is one of my favorite gaming controllers by the way but yeah, it worked, you know, and the battery life was really good too over these last few days. Um, I will say that 5,000 milliamp hour battery, the, you know, the number doesn't always speak for itself, but generally the standby time has been really good on this phone. Um, and I find that I can get through most of my day without feeling like I need to, to charge or, or to plug in. But again, if I need to plug in, you have that super boot 
fast charging that uh, should be able to get you from uh, zero to 100% pretty quickly. Now, when it comes to software updates, this will be getting one year of Android OS updates. So that's not that long, but as far as security updates, you will be getting three years of bi-monthly security updates. So you're not gonna be running Android 15 and 16 on this thing, but security-wise, you'll be covered for a few years. All right, so let's talk about this screen. So this is a 6.72 inch screen. It comes in at 680 nits of peak brightness. So in sunlight, it should be fine. And then also it is a 20 by nine aspect ratio, and this is running at 120 Hertz. Now this is going to be adaptive. So it will be going between 30 all the way up to 120 Hertz. And it's pretty good. It's fluid for the price range, just fine, 120 Hertz. I like the colors, I like the brightness, no problems with the display at all. All right, so now let's talk about camera. So you really only have one main camera on this phone. The others are going to be a macro camera and also a depth camera, but the main 108 megapixel camera is good because you can go into the high res mode and be able to take a high megapixel count photo. So after the fact, you can always crop in and not lose as much quality as you would with a lower megapixel count, but don't expect a miracle here, right? It's not gonna be better than any other 108 megapixel flagship phone out there, but you do have some flexibility when taking photos. And as I said before, portrait mode photos should be good according to OnePlus because the depth sensor will be helping you out there. So I'm gonna be showing you some portrait mode photos here. You let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, but when it comes to zooming, you do have a three times zoom option, but again, this doesn't have a telephoto camera or an ultra wide camera. So the three times lossless zoom is what they're saying is going to be allowing you to zoom in. Now for video recording, you can go up to 1080p at 30 frames per second with the rear and the front facing camera. I'm using the front facing camera right now along with the built in microphone. So let me know how you think I sound with this. I know the noise cancellation isn't that great. You might hear some things in the background, but overall the video quality with the front facing camera is fine until you have something bright in the background like you see there. But the good thing is that with the rear facing camera, it does adjust for the lighting a lot better than the front facing camera. So that's what I'm gonna be using more to kind of capture moments and stuff and overall the stabilization is fine so no ois with this but you do get electronic image stabilization which i've been moving for this entire video with the front face of camera so i think it's looking pretty steady at least what i can see here on the screen so yeah with that this is the video quality you see what you get so overall, when it comes to the cameras, when I look at the performance, I'm looking at the price range. So around $300 and even less if you get this phone with a carrier, um, it is good. Now, if you want a better camera system, obviously you can spend more money, maybe 350, 370 or so. Um, you can get something that is really, really, really good. But this is pretty good for, again, the price range that they are going for. And so, yeah, that's been my unboxing and first impressions here of the OnePlus Nord N30. And I already have to clean the uh, back of this phone off again. But this phone is available today, June 15th. So you can get it from T-Mobile for the $264 low price. But again, you can get it from OnePlus, Amazon, and a couple other places as well. But this phone will also work on Verizon's 5G network and also AT&T's Bring Your Own Device 5G kind of program that they have there. So you can still use this on other carriers outside T-Mobile, but T-Mobile is where you're going to get the lowest price, at least here in the U.S. And OnePlus always has some type of pre-order deals as well. So I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can check out all of that info. But yeah, give this video a like if you did like it. Also drop your comment down below and let me know what you think about this phone. But like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.